Hi, I'm Yari from Winter Sun. Hi, I'm Asim from Winter Sun. I feel good. I got some energy. It's my hometown, sold out show. I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna be great. What about you, Asim? <laughs> it's epically an honor. Like I can't, I can't say more. That you know, celebrating the 15th album, uh, 15th anniversary of the album, which, uh, so to speak, I grew up with my, which I made my musical ventures grow up with, and um, being in Finland, living in Finland, playing in Helsinki to a sold out show with the band that I listened to, grew up with, and being part of it and celebrating the 15th anniversary, that's just, that's just, that's just, what's the word, like, that's just, uh, amazing. yeah, it is, but like, there's, there's another word to it, it's just, dream come true, or like, it's, un, it's surreal. Oh, yeah. That was my first time that I saw Winter Sun was 2006 in Wacken Open Air. So Wacken had been very close uh, festival to my heart, and uh, particularly it was such a such such a tremendous joy to see Winter Sun from the first row in Wacken Open Air, and knowing that it was my first international festival that I've seen. So everything happened starting from there, so to speak. and Winter Sun was part of it. So now being on stage with Winterson as well, in Wacken, that was just incredible as well, and now it's happening more and more, so... There are even little tears, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> I was a man, I kept it in, no, like, no. <laughs> I let the emotions go. I'm currently, well, currently and more after this summer when we finish all these anniversary shows. So I'm, then I'm just focusing on uh, new stuff. Currently I'm working like uh, several albums at the same time, including Time 2. So I don't know yet uh, what the next album is going to be. But yeah, the plan is to do more crowdfunding and to build the Winters on headquarters. But now... The hint was kind of, uh, well, people will hear it soon enough. I will, okay. I will be posting more, more about well. <laughs> it. But it, it relates to the studio, but uh, uh, it's kind of, uh, well, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> <I'll> see. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your own studio or? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Well, it's not really a studio yet, but uh, yeah, it something will that will help, help me a lot to make you know, music faster. Mm -hmm. Them. I keep, it coming. <laughs> keep it coming. It's just fun. They're just amazing. Yeah. What I think keep is. Keep it coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's my idea. And we were just, uh, you know, coming up with ideas for the US tour. And I was Googling some merchandise items. And I think I found uh, some ball or something. And why not a stress ball? <laughs> We were laughing our asses off. Are we really, really gonna do this? <laughs> <laughs> and we did it. Yeah, the fans seem to love it. Is it sold out? Yeah, it is. is it? Yeah. Well, we have. I have one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Personally, I don't have any, but uh, I think you have one. Demo has a few. You guys have one or two. But we sold them out. Yeah. It went better than expected, so as Yari said, like the fans loved it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Currently, we made a lot of um, new merchandise uh, concerning the uh, first album. So there's Death and Healing shirt, Winter Man shirt, which is kind of a prequel to the album cover, the first album. Kind of reveals something what happened before the guy. Dead in the snow. Yeah, it's uh, like it helps us a lot, and 
I think the fans you know they feel cool when they when they know they can directly help us to make music for them. So it's kind of interactive kind of relationship. That's really really cool. I believe that's the way it should be. They sort of know we will then help us and we'll make music for them. We have, uh, we currently did one show in Norway that we started off the year from. Yeah, it was great. It was a great show, had a good time, it was a great festival as well. And we have uh, nine more shows to go, which include four of the club shows in Finland, yeah. and the rest of them Tom are... Smith in Finland. Uh, yeah, for one Finnish festival as well. And then there are two German festivals, one in Spain, and the last one we'll do is Denmark. Show Denmark. Denmark. So we have festival shows. Currently we're not planning. Yeah, currently we're not planning it. It would be very interesting to do it in the future, but yeah, then, we'll see. We'll see. but then bear with us as well because the music that we play is, um, uh, of course, you know, we have now a whole repertoire from the first album to the third album, and. Uh, we have done these buy request shows, and of course, when the next album comes out, there will be more material. So that would be like, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really think that you actually have to like rehearse all the songs, I guess, well, that, in the, order to like. We did. We had to. to. And in yeah. the future, I think uh, we're more going to be focused on new stuff. So people should come to the show now. Better they want to hear the old, old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Better not miss the chance. Because uh, after these shows. No, we're not gonna play the old stuff that much anymore. Of course, some songs here and there, for sure. But in the future, you know, future stuff. Oh, it doesn't feel different. It just feels great to me so that I can focus on my singing. As it fits the band perfectly. It's great. It has a great energy. Great, great guy. Killer guitar player. You can do all my stuff. Right? Well, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, well, it's, it's definitely, of course, I'm learning as well from time to time as well. So, time to time. Just. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's quite awesome to be part of it. Well, the question was for you. Why am I answering uh, it? Like, you, yeah. you can go ahead and. <laughs> we had an extensive, like, uh, period of we. we Interviewed a lot, of, a lot of guitar players and uh, uh, did this, uh, what is it called? Like uh, you record your playing and. Uh, Anal an an analysis. Yeah, yeah. And Asim's playing had, had the most balls. And you couldn't be happier, I guess, with having Asim on your team as well. So Definitely, yeah. definitely. Seems I think <laughs> it goes back and forth. Like, yeah. Like, really. Everything worked out from the day one pretty awesome. It yeah. was just yeah. as if, you know, it was kind of meant to be. He had to work for it, but he yeah. totally, totally, totally deserved it. That's good to hear. Yeah, of course I had to work for it, because basically I was known more as a vocalist in the Finnish scene, much more. So it was already like when I asked Yari immediately, when he released, uh, I think it was the same morning, Yeah. Uh, I wrote immediately to Yari that I'm very interested and Yari was like, yeah, but you know, you need to have the skills and you need to play the guitar. And so he didn't remember that I play guitar <laughs> at all, basically. And Yuka said to everybody else, but later on Yuka told me that, what, what is he going to do? Is he going to sing the parts or <laughs> is he going to acapella the guitar stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so it came as a surprise to them as well. Then. So, But it, has, it came as a surprise to me also that... But I wanted to pursue it that way too. So everything just worked cool. And the point was that there was a possibility for me to be part of the choir in Time One album. But that didn't happen because I was busy with the business that I do. <clears throat> so it was like, oh, damn it. Like, and then Yari said, like, okay, well, maybe in the future you'll see. <laughs> Now I ended up in the band. Yeah. Now you're sitting on the stage. <laughs> exactly. So now you can do the choir in time too, maybe someday. I assume. Well, time two is already <laughs> recorded. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so then no. <laughs> but the next album. Yeah, definitely.
Who knows what's yeah. gonna happen? <laughs> it's definitely gonna happen. Maybe so. some acapella guitar parts in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> well uh, the first Finnish shows that we did, we were playing with Valkyat. So Valkyat was opening for us, and we were coming back from Turku, I believe, or somewhere. Yeah. I don't remember which city we were coming from, but like me and the guitar player of Valkyat, we were doing the a cappella version of Loneliness in the bus all the night. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the acapella stuff already. <laughs> yes, so. Yeah. Well, we have planned some acoustic stuff and we did already the loneliness acoustic mm -hmm. version. Yeah. But we'll see. I don't know yet. I'm mainly focusing on just uh, new, new heavy stuff. New heavy stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, basically, just uh, well, I'm gonna need to be bored, like nothing in my calendar. Then I write, write the best stuff. Just sitting on my couch, play the guitar. And I usually just uh, play chords, kind of hum melodies, imagine the melodies in my head. And if I come up with something interesting, I record it into my iPhone, and then I kind of put all those recordings to my computer, kind of archive them. In folders, and then later on, I start to build all these different ideas and these melodies in my Cubase project. So that's pretty much how I write music. And when I do a riff or something, I already kind of uh, hear in my head what sort of soon sounds and orchestration should be on top of that riff. Well, so far I've done pretty much everything myself. Of course, time album, everyone played, but the Forest Seasons was purely kind of my solo mm -hmm. album. Yeah. Kind of like the first album with Kai. But uh, we'll see what happens in the future. I'm totally open for the guys bringing ideas. But I feel like uh, I need to have the final say, you know. Yeah. So, kind of the leader of the whole ship yeah. in that sense. Depends what kind of uh, ideas <laughs> they want to bring, and if they fit the they fit overall so. project. Yeah. Like, as you asked about the phrasing and so on, or you asked about, like, there are certain things, like when we play, when I was learning things as well, so I used to consult Yadi as well all the time, that, hey, okay, did you play it like that, or did it go like this? So, of course, we go back and forth, that, as Yadi said, that it's the final save for him, but sometimes he just let it all up to me as well, that okay, but just play yeah, the correct totally. notes, yeah. but feel the way you feel and do your thing. I told you when you know, people have their own identity in their playing, like you have with all your phrasing and vibrato and stuff like that. But you know, and drums and everything, but just uh, I always want to have the certain parts to be like they are in the song, but then there's a lot of room or guys bring their own, own identity. I think there are certain songs that we want to keep it the way they are strictly, then there are certain songs we like to, you know, let's say in our world, in our world, we jam around with. Yeah. But I don't think there is much of room in the kind of music that we play, that there is much of room to have the jam session going on yeah. on stage, that, you know, we can just triple the bars and just go like, hey, let's fiddle around, do some solos on top of this and that. Yeah, because all the orchestrations yeah. are coming from back yeah, in the tapes. The, yeah. There's no real orchestration <laughs> <laughs> on the really? stage, so, so we have to play well, to we click. wish. <laughs> we want to so do we that have to too. play to a click track and uh, you know, follow the songs. But we sometimes we change little parts here and there in the songs to have a longer break here or exactly. little, little stuff. Just, it just depends on how the mood evolves. And then there are certain, some things we do jam, but that's kind of like at the end of a song or something like that, that we just evolve it into our style of doing something. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it just, there's not much of space to jam around, but like with the technicality of the music that we play, the, the space that we get, we use it to our benefit as much as we can. Basically, most of the time, he says that, hey, let's do something about it, and we're like, uh, oh, you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's try this. And like, okay. And then we try that, then it works out, or sometimes, you know, back and forth, the ideas come. So, live setting, yes.
and it's nice to have something something different, something a little extra for live than just the album. But mostly we try to play the songs like they are. I mean, there is a certain reason why they were made that way. So, you know, it's, like, it's like, hey, you want to go and buy a you know, carrot? And you're like, hey, how about zucchini? Like, you had a carrot, like, stick with that. Like, did it make, I think it made sense, right? <laughs> would be something if you would play Death and the Healing and then instead play like a Backstreet Boy song or something, same style. <laughs> we have, we have to say about that. <laughs> well, we sometimes, you know, come up with ideas like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, it would be fun to troll, troll the fans, but <laughs> never have done so, I, nothing I, so radical yet. I have done, really? at least on the last, when it comes to the tour's last concert. I do something extraordinary <laughs> here and there, which is unexpected, <laughs> but yeah. it's like, well, what? Right. Everything. Yeah. Get me, every <laughs> get me everything. <laughs> Probably jump from the sky and fire, fire. Yeah. snow, killer, killer lights. But that's for forest Screaming. seasons. Fires, like winter stuff and all that stuff. Everything. No? We, 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 <laughs> even if we have to bring winds, we will bring <laughs> winds and we'll give you the pure 3D, you know, you would forget about IMAX and <laughs> we just. <laughs> okay. Yeah, people grabbing you, bringing you to the stars and taking you to the. But yeah, we would love to do, I think, um, ideal thing would be just. Um, when hopefully there would a day come that we would be able to do it, uh, then it would be, of course, we don't want to hold back with the production anyway, so we will bring something extraordinary to the audience. And definitely a stadium size would be great. Yeah. That'd be epic. That'd be epic. So maybe we'll say. Aim for the stars. Yes. <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll just. Bring the stars Get down. The stars. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to thank you guys for all the support. And have a great summer. You guys are the best. Come to the rest of our shows. Don't miss them. It's one, one hell of an opportunity that you're probably not going to get again. Damn right. See ya.